Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to the YouTube channel and to this video. You clicked on this probably because there was a Lamborghini, I had a Gucci t-shirt and there was an insane number of likes in the thumbnail. Or else, you're just interested on how to become famous on Instagram in 2019 or 2020, whenever it is. You see your favourite influencers living the life of your dreams. They're in private jets, they're in Lamborghinis, they're on holiday all year, the whole time. And it seems like they have to do absolutely nothing at all to get all of these things. So... How do you go about growing your small Instagram page into a big one? One that can potentially give you money, one that can potentially let you live the life you want to live from the comfort of your phone. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Just quickly before we get into all the juicy stuff, I want to ask you, please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment if you have anything to add and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We recently hit 800 subs, which is crazy to me. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel just like you're trying to grow your Instagram help a man out you know drop your instagram in the comments if you want i might give you a cheeky follow instagram has been out for years so i'm not going to go through the very basics how to create an account what to do when you have zero followers i assume pretty much everybody in the entire universe has a couple of hundred followers at this stage and that is honestly a decent place to start if you have that many people who you can engage with if your profile is seeing more than 100 200 views per week it is relatively easy to go to be completely honest with you now, you've probably watched a number of these videos at this stage if you found this one the number one thing everybody says to you is be consistent and provide value and good content and these things on a serious note are the biggest factors when it comes to building your instagram account so with me my instagram i took it really seriously for a long while i'm currently at like 10,300 followers and i haven't posted really in months whatsoever but when I was consistent, when I was posting on there every day, twice a day, when I was putting up 10 to 20 stories a day, when I was engaging with dozens, if not hundreds of people on a daily basis, that's when the growth really happened. Now, there's a lot more to it than just being consistent with your upload. There's a lot of shit content on Instagram that nobody cares about. And if you're one of those people who is just throwing up a picture of yourself or your caption is one or two words, or it's just not interesting, you're never going to see yourself grow. It is just that simple. People have millions of people they can choose to follow on Instagram. Why would they follow you if you don't add something to their feed? If you don't add something to their day? So that is honestly the number one tip. I'm going to have a lot of bullshit in this video, but on a real note, that's what you have to do. You have to find your niche. You have to create good content and do it really consistently. You have to engage with your followers. Like their stuff, they'll like yours back. Follow people you have an interest in. Engage with like-minded people. And trust me, you will grow so much quicker than just posting the average selfie in front of a fucking church or something now a lot of people love to talk about the algorithm and how it's always changing etc etc i genuinely just believe that if you post often if you engage with people instagram is going to like that and they're going to be more prone to sharing your pictures with the world when it comes to genuinely growing an instagram account there is not much more to say than being consistent and providing value but there are loads of things you can do that will give you an edge on competition give you an edge on everybody else who's trying to do the exact same thing as you some of them are good nice things to do and some of them are shady and i'm going to go through them both so the first two things i always did when i was really trying to grow my account was i would like people's posts people who already followed me i would constantly like their post and if i somewhat knew that person or if i could relate to their post i drop a comment and they are two incredibly easy things that don't take up much time to do the other thing i did was i did the same thing but with people i didn't follow so i would follow a hashtag let's say i follow hashtag gym life i'm predominantly a gym page on instagram and i would like loads of pictures there ones that found my interest and i would comment on ones of people who i thought were very much like me so people who were around my age were in the same sport as me things like that that way you're building engagement you're actually building a community as opposed to people who are just going to follow you and you're never going to like their stuff they're never going to like your stuff you're never going to talk that is not the way to grow and it won't go anywhere so likes and comments are two massive things aside from the content that you produce that will affect how fast you grow one other thing i think needs to be talked about that a lot of people don't is you need to be ready to be open and honest with your followers so when you're having good times you want to share those good times and when you're having bad times you want to share those bad times too because people can really relate with that some of my best posts ever were during my hardest times where i was just completely open and make myself vulnerable to every follower i had People love seeing that you're a human. You know, everybody loves the good times, but everybody has the bad times as well. And people can relate with that. And there's not as many people on Instagram sharing their down times as there are people sharing their best times. So like people will really relate with you. They'll be more inclined to engage with you, to like your post, to comment. They might even drop in your DMs. You'll make some friends through that way and you're gonna help each other grow. It really is that simple. So if you're not ready to be completely open and honest with your followers, it's gonna be very hard to grow, you know, cause you're gonna need stuff to talk about every single day and not every day is gonna be a good day. 
you need to be able to talk about what happens how you're feeling etc so if you have issues with friends or family seeing you how you how you're really doing on a daily basis if you have issues with speaking openly on certain topics it's going to be difficult for you to be completely transparent with your followers they're going to notice that and they'll not be as inclined to engage with you following on from that point have fun with it like you don't need to treat this as a job you really don't you should be enjoying your time on instagram like with me when i was posting i had loads of different kinds of things i posted i did like gym tutorials i did just standard photos they often came with a long caption of me speaking about my days or any topic i really wanted to. and i also did a few skits and these skits are what really blew up my account because there's not many people making an absolute fool of themselves for the world to see it ended up with me collaborating with blessing you all probably know him you might not he's just a really funny guy he's from ireland and he does these skits the whole time i did a video with him it blew up and my account blew up kind of as a product of that so basically just putting yourself out there can create amazing opportunities for you you're going to grow so much faster when you can network with other people so when you can work alongside other people your followers are going to see the post their followers are going to see it i got to collab with somebody who had a million followers when i only had maybe five six thousand it can happen you just keep putting yourself out there you know what i mean keep reaching out it can happen so that's kind of the good organic way to grow yourself you just need to be really consistent post once or twice a day use your stories a lot like if anything happens in your day you can bang that on your story use the polls etc to engage your audience with you network with people speak with people like their stuff comment their stuff support them and they're going to be more inclined to support you don't be afraid to message people either people generally like it on instagram when they're making friends when you're actually talking to them personally not just under the comment section when you dm them but aside from that when it comes to good clean organic growth there isn't an awful lot more to do you know what i mean now we're going to get into some of the more shady stuff that is going on on instagram on a daily basis and that a lot of people that you probably follow are utilizing and sadly it's just the best way to grow accounts it's that simple so we're going to start off really small and with things that aren't that scummy because they don't affect people negatively uh, the first one being dm groups these are a good way to grow these are more so for people with slightly higher amounts of followers so say 5,000, 10,000, etc you will join a dm group with people who have around as many followers as you and as soon as you put up a post all of them will have notifications turned on and they're going to like and comment on your particular photo so what this does is straight away as soon as your photo goes up instagram sees all these accounts with a decent amount of followers liking and comment on your stuff it's going to up it in their algorithm which is going to make them push it to more people so this one it's not really scummy it doesn't negatively affect anybody but it is somewhat frowned upon in the community i'm not too sure why I never got into these because I wasn't arsed commenting on the same people's photos forever. It was not something that really appealed to me and it's very easy to spot when you see the same seven or eight people commenting on each other's photos and then you're just going to get a bit of a name in the community. So personally this one for me is not worth it whatsoever but a lot of people do it. Next up a very obvious one is just buying likes and followers. Now most people consider this scummy, it's obviously lying and people also consider it relatively useless because the followers you buy don't like your stuff, they won't comment on your stuff, they won't add anything to your page and this is largely true. If you buy followers it's going to do nothing for you but sometimes having more followers will entice real people to follow you which then in line can actually boost your engagement so it's kind of a a knock-on effect now again this is one that i don't really recommend people will notice if you're if you have 500 followers and you go up to 2000 overnight people are going to notice you know what i mean so it's not worth doing again you're going to get a name in the community and then buying likes on the other hand this one now is more complicated because you cannot see likes on instagram currently in most countries but the thing about buying likes is it can actually help again boost your post with instagram's algorithm the faster a post gets likes the more Instagram people, the more Instagram thinks people are engaged with it, the more likely they are to give it out to other people, to new people, to hit the explore page, etc. So this one is really hard to regulate, and now people aren't even going to know you're doing it. People aren't even going to know you're buying likes. Obviously, it does cost money, but again, I think the trade-off isn't really worth it. If you're buying all these fake likes, more than likely they're not going to do very much for your engagement. There's a small chance they will, but they're not going to be your big break. I would stay away from it. And as well, it's against Instagram's terms and guidelines, etc. So it could end up eventually getting your account gone. I'm not sure exactly how that works, what the likelihood is, but it could happen. Now, some of the other stuff. So you've probably seen the same person follow and unfollow on Instagram about 10 times at least once. It always happens, especially the more followers you get, the more inclined people are to follow you and hope that you'll follow them back. 
and then they're ultimately going to unfollow you so what people will do is they'll search up a famous influencer say you're in the gym say you just look up kai green you'll go to his followers and you'll follow as many people as instagram will let you until you get soft banned so you can't follow anyone else for a few hours they'll leave it sit there they'll let a few people follow them back and then they'll unfollow everyone and this happens the whole time i did this back on my my first instagram account i had is now gone uh, i have three now this one doesn't even exist anymore but when i was like 17 just starting out in the gym i was on instagram i was fucking doing this man i was following on following people but ultimately it's not good the people you unfollow are inclined to unfollow you back and also if they see you unfollow them they're going to think you're a scumbag you're going to get a name in the community once again and they're not going to engage with you so ultimately you're just wasting your time sitting there this is not the way you're going to get famous trust me this is one that i've actually done and it is not good and that account's gone so all that time i spent following and unfollowing people wasting valuable hours of my life was for absolutely nothing and my next point is that everything you see on instagram is not true it is so easy to alter reality so let's talk about Photoshop a little bit. This is really prominent in my niche, in the gym niche. You would have seen it in my thumbnail. I obviously did not have a Gucci t-shirt on. I was not stood in front of that Lamborghini. You know what I mean? It is so easy to fake things on Instagram. If you were to put a few hours into Photoshop, you will learn how to make yourself look bigger. You will learn how to put new clothes on yourself like I did today. You can do pretty much anything on Photoshop, okay? And there's so many people doing this. I remember a while ago there was a page called Fit Fam Failures or something along those lines that called out people for doing this. And it just goes to show that so many people with big followings, particularly in Ireland anyway, were doing this and still are doing this to this day. And if you have any knowledge on Photoshop, etc., you can look at these pictures. You can see random bends in the walls. You can see straight lines bending. You can see muscles blurred. It's really easy to spot. But the everyday person doesn't really know that this has happened. So this again is another scummy one. It is lying to the people who look up to you. And it's really scummy when people do it and then sell things to people. So say for example, you're a bodybuilder. You look okay, but in your photos you are fucking, you look crazy. You know what I mean? Your muscles are always popping. Everything is. You're a master at Photoshop. And then you go and you sell people either these supplements or you sell people, I don't know, your workout plans, things along those lines in an unhonest way. So yeah, Photoshop is extremely real. It probably is a really, really, really good way to grow and it is sad that that is the case, but it's the way it is, it's the way it is and there are so many people doing it. The thing about Instagram is you will grow faster doing a lot of these dishonest things, but ultimately you will get found out at some stage sooner or later. People will judge you for it. Your account could potentially be banned, it could go all together or else you will just get a bad name in the community as i've said a few times today so it is completely not worth it if you are going to take this seriously if you do want to grow an account if you have a product to sell you want to be building good honest relationships with people on instagram so you should be doing the stuff that we spoke about at the start of the video you should be producing really high quality good informative content of some sort engage with your real followers real followers being key like their stuff comment their stuff build relationships constantly and just never stop like literally when it comes to instagram people always want to go onto instagram and follow other people's lives that's when stories come into it so much you need to be getting a story up every half hour hour absolute max if you're taking this really seriously every time somebody sees your name they're more than like like they're more likely to click onto your account to like a post of yours to read a post of yours maybe they click the link so like the link in my instagram is to my youtube channel so they're more than likely going to do that if they say your name 20 25 times every day every single day and as well one thing i want to touch on when it comes to photoshop it's actually a really really good tool to use to make your pictures look better as long as you're not manipulating them so as long as you're not making yourself look bigger or smaller whichever as long as you're not adding fancy items into the background for as well as long as it's not satire like i did today that's satire i think that's okay but photoshop's a really good tool to use to make your pictures stand out you can adjust them you can edit them so much more than you can just through instagram's basic ones and that will help your photos stand out on the instagram feeds so when people are scrolling down they're going to be skipping most of the stuff if they see a really nice looking picture that stands out they're going to be more inclined to look at it read it get to know you a little bit give you the like which is going to help you grow etc so don't be afraid to use these things don't be afraid to filter stuff to edit stuff just do it in a good way so hopefully you got to take something from this video it is as simple as most people make it out to be it's as simple as just being extremely consistent and giving out good content it doesn't need to be more complicated than that if you did take something from the video or if you enjoyed it please again drop a like or subscribe it would mean a lot to me i really want to start growing this youtube channel again and yeah, until the next one, guys, peace. Get to grow on them Instagrams.